All right, uh, welcome to our team call for January 8th. Um, I just have a couple updates real quick. Um, I just wanted to mention that Ultimate Portion Fix and To Be Mindset um, kits are $20 off. And if you haven't already noticed, um, if you add one of them to a challenge pack, it ends up being like $39. I think it was when I added it to a completion pack or a challenge pack. So it's a game changer if you've been talking to people about it or they want, say, like to join us for um, Bar Blend or the work and they really need a more specific nutrition plan to know that you can just add that onto the cart and it will automatically adjust the price and they get the first month free of the new monthly membership. So that's really awesome. Um, I just posted in the team page, but I wanted to mention it. And obviously when it comes around, we'll post the links for it, but to get like, start thinking about who you want to register, um, register for a team cup with because team cup registration starts January 13th. Um, and that's always a really awesome way to like kick off the new year with fire and with working with other coaches and just kind of rallying for a team goal and winning some fun prizes, um, and changing a whole lot of lives together and just sharing best practices with that group of five you choose. I think we'll have to look back at the FAQ again, but I'm pretty sure it's typically it's, I think it's Annalie, so you can correct me if I'm wrong, but it's usually one diamond or star diamond coach. And then everybody else has to be an emerald or coach level. So um, just keep that in mind and think of who you might want to partner up with to do that. And then Super Saturday is this weekend. I think we've posted it in the team page like 700 times. Um, so if you are not yet registered for an event, it's not too late to find one in your area um, and get to those events. It's so important to get to events. I know Katie and I are going to be in Tampa with Elise, so I'm pretty pumped about that. Um, and that's it for updates. Does anybody have any shout outs or recognition they want to celebrate? So I just wanted to kind of shout out. So Jenny and I have been running our own challenge group the past mm -hmm. couple months. And this is the first week we've actually had people Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, actually commenting on our posts and showing up. Yay. So we were both just pretty psyched about it to actually start getting some engagement in there. That's so. awesome. Well, maybe later in the call, if you want, if you've been doing something differently, you want to share a little bit about it because it's awesome. Um, I want to shout out Miss Kelly Riley <laughs> um, huh? as she earned her little, I don't even know what to call it, the first little section of the, what do you say, statue? Team leader, um, or whatever it is, team not team leader, team Yeah. Guy and working yeah. towards um, on the road to elites. And that's a super awesome achievement because it's really based on your growth overall as a coach, not just based on things like not only success club. So huge accomplishment, Kelly, you're kicking Thank ass you. and taking names and we are so proud of you. We know this is your year for growth. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I will shout out, I got notification in my email that Whitney joined the Beachbody Challenge. So good for you um, for submitting Beachbody Challenge components. So maybe awesome. you can share about that during this call. Anybody else? You can celebrate, or celebrate anything. Anything you want to have celebrated is welcome. <laughs> I'm gonna finish Morning Meltdown 100 finally this week, guys. Yay! Woo! So I will just did 98 today. I'll do 99 tomorrow and 100 on Friday. Awesome. Took forever to get to that finish line, but we're there. <laughs> awesome. Well done. Anybody else? Yay! Well, it's always fun to celebrate. <laughs> um, so tonight we decided um, we wanted to kind of, one of the things for those of you that weren't on last week, one of the things that we had brought up um, in masterminding was the importance of really running effective and fun and engaging challenge groups this year and just the importance of actually setting the tone and the expectation for people getting started um, and kind of going through any problems they may run into, things they need to work through, whether it be with meal planning or consistency, um, suggesting personal development. 
Um, and just really ensuring that we set the tone and that expectation from the get-go with challengers that, you know, to do a program like we do as coaches start to finish with a nutrition plan, um, following it to a T because that is how we get results. And that's a massive, massive part of what we do as coaches is really helping people transform their lives and have that experience themselves. And also just the importance of creating that fun um, engaging community that people feel like they belong to and are a part of. And also that if people kind of fall off track, that they always know they have a place to come back to. Um, and the importance of getting results in our groups, not just because that's what we do as coaches, but often because I'm just curious by a raise of hands, if, because I think it's important for everybody to see who was a challenger first before they became a coach. I wasn't. I mean, I kind of started at the same time, but yeah, that's like probably 75% of us. So I think that really goes to show how important that as we are really at the beginning of a new year and wanting to see new growth um, in our businesses and in our teams and, and make a bigger impact on more lives, really truly the importance of helping people get transformations and enjoy the process and develop that belief because we, when we get results and we develop that belief, often become the best coaches, and that's what helps us impact more lives, right? Um, I don't remember what call it was at some point last year, and I, I loved the way they said it, was like, if you want to change lives, um, that one of the best ways to do that, right, is, is helping people join the coaching opportunity, because it's not only helping people change their life in terms of health and fitness and and transformation and confidence and all of those things, but it's also giving them an opportunity to truly transform their financial situation and build something for their families and therefore also be impacting more people. So um, I just wanted to kind of mention that as we get into this topic, um, that it's so important for so many reasons. And I think it'll be great to brainstorm it out as a team um, for everybody to share what is working right now in your challenge groups. Um, some things like Annalise is going to share something she's going to be um, adding value in our groups. And then Ray wanted to share a little bit about something new she's been doing in her groups that's working great for her. And then anyone else can feel free to chime in and share things that are working for you. And hopefully everybody will get some good tips um, to go ahead and implement into our groups moving into the new year. So that is all. Annalisa, if you want to take it. <laughs> Sure, I'll take it. Um, so yeah, challenge groups, we definitely need some pizzazz in there, right? We've got these great templates and things, but then, you know, I, I wouldn't read them. If I was a challenger, I would see it and just see the graphic and be like, cool. Um, but what I would connect with is something that like really helps me in my day to day. So um, I had two things to say about that one of the things that a small tip that I just implemented today in my challenge tracker, which can be done in our group, is to um, encourage people to share their sweaty selfie in their story and tag their coach, right? Then you share it in your story, and then we can promote the sense of community and people see we have challengers doing stuff in our groups and it's not just us posting. So anytime you can share what your challengers are doing or some like fun selfie or like the rise and jive dance or whatever, but you're tagging challengers. So it's not just the coaching community, but you're actually showing people who are showing up here who are not coaching then their people might see it the ball that you know just snowballs a little bit more so promoting a way in your challenge group for your challengers to go and tag you for something and my challengers today got one entry into a collagen giveaway at the end of the month so every time i do a little pop-up giveaway they'll get an entry if they participate something simple that doesn't have to be like monitored weekly or daily or whatever it's just yep they did it put a little tally mark next to their name or something um and that's all i have for that tip the other thing i want to do so we've been talking about get elevated we've been talking in the team pay in the team leader page about how to um kind of combine forces and still make it like everyone it's sort of their own but it's a community feel because we have tons of new coaches we have um uh, tons or we have coaches who are inviting tons of new challengers and sometimes they need a place to put them because we know our new coaches don't always kick off by themselves at first and that's okay the other thing is sometimes when people aren't doing a 
an early launch program. They need like a backup group to go in. So we talked about Get Elevated being this kind of um, free community for people where they you know, and we're kind of brainstorming this, so it's open to discussion, but we're talking about um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a paid Beachbody member to be in there, but that we're inviting people into this community to get value, to get, you know, free stuff, to participate, to move their body, to celebrate those things. But they also see a lot of the Beachbody things coming out. They see a lot of people getting results with Beachbody. They see these products we're talking about, and it's just kind of this ongoing forum for wellness and people can just get in there if they need some support. Um, they can get in there if they buy, you know, if they buy anything, of course, anyone you're talking to about needing help on their journey could go in there. Um, in that sense, it wouldn't be like where we post all our materials and things that people get in like a VIP group like bar. Um, but those are things, details to hash out. What I'm hoping to do is to incorporate like um, if all of us kind of have this thing that we like to do, or if we want to team up or whatever, if I could in February, my hope and my plan is to launch this morning miracle group. So every month in that group will be a morning miracle component, a miracle morning component for people who need to start getting up early, right? So not everyone is going to embrace this, but it's just another little unit literally in the group that people can go to for resources on how to carve out their morning routine, right? So for me, when I'm inviting people to this Get Elevated community, I might be talking to people specifically about if you want to start something in the morning routine. Like they don't need a beach body program to do that, they just get into this group for support community. So we could have like monthly focus areas and topics of things that we're really focusing in on where um, February could be a morning group and um, March could be like a nutritional focus group or holistic healing. I know Alicia has been kind of focusing in on that kind of thing. So generating or creating this, um, creating more value in this get elevated community, um, but not having to have like 50 cooks in the kitchen trying to figure out one plan of, to do something. Just find a focus area and go in there and share it and promote to get elevated as, a, as if it's your own group. I think there's a way of organizing that information enough, even if there's a couple posts a day, where it goes into a unit and people can find what they're looking for really easily. So that is my idea for Get Elevated to up the value um, for people to feel like they own it a little bit more, have more skin in the game, and to make it your own group. You're all welcome to post in there. But maybe as a team, we need to figure out some sort of general theme of the month. I was going to say, if we perhaps just create a Google Doc and anyone who wants to participate in that takes a month, and then it gives us plenty of time to plan out the content for it, where it maybe is just like one live video a week or a couple posts a week if you don't want to do lives. But I love the idea of if we had it like that, where it's planned ahead of time, we could share it in the group saying like month, the month of March is going to be all about nutrition. And that can be something that, that everyone invites to. And it eventually becomes that community that kind of um, gets people engaged if they're not necessarily ready to join us for something more, but see the value of the community. So I, I love Yeah, that. even if we know like March is nutrition and everyone's like, oh, I'll take a week focusing on whatever and create one challenge that week and, you know, water intake challenge. Um, I don't know, whatever the heck we talk about. Um, I don't know, exploring different like fruits and vegetables challenge, that kind of thing, and just having fun with it or recipes or whatever. So a week is not hard to plan, especially if you have tons and tons of notice. That'd be awesome things to tag in our stories too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool. What else is working for people in challenge groups that we can, or Rachel, right? Rachel, you had some, yeah, there you are. Hi, Rachel. I'm taking notes on this on my phone. I'm not just not listening. I just want to tell you now. I don't know why I didn't grab a pen and paper, but I'm, but anyways. Um, <laughs> uh, no, so what we ran in our challenge group, and it was through the holidays, so it definitely like trailed off towards the end, but was like a team cup. And it was really fun. I understand that it's definitely like 
it was a little bit laborious on my part to like have to like add up points or whatever, but I definitely think it was interesting to me. Like I didn't, I personally don't think I would be like super motivated by it, but I definitely think it does motivate more people than I would have imagined. Um, you just assign points. Like we did one point for just like sharing that you did a workout, which automatically syncs from BOD. So all you have to do is click a blue toggle for those of you who don't use my challenge tracker app. You just have to click a blue toggle. It automatically like a notification comes to your phone and you click on that and then you just click a blue toggle and you get a point toward your team cup. If you share a sweaty selfie with it, you get two points. Um, and then same thing for Shaco and sh like a picture with Shaco. And we're starting to like switch up what the picture is. We're gonna say like you could do a picture of food or Shaco in this next one because we're like learning from it. Um, and then you just add up the points and it like you add, assign everyone in your group into different teams at random and you just keep posting what the points are each week and you just do it for three weeks. Um, just to kind of like reinvigorate because I feel like now that it's bod, I feel like it's hard to run a challenge group of just one thing. I think that's like a pain point for all of us um, after a launch, you know what I mean? And keeping people retained and into using bod forever. And I feel like this is a neat way to, for those groups, not launch groups um, to, you know, just keep them reinvigorated and like just run them every few weeks rather than it being constant to just like, you know, people trickle off and then people jump in. And then maybe you have people you're inviting that don't want the launch and to give them some, so you always have something you feel like you're excited to invite to. Um, I feel like that's what I need personally in my business and that's why I was focusing on challenge groups um, in November and December. So that's my piece. <laughs> Great. If you wouldn't mind, because I'm I'm trying to type all this in a Google document while I'm, while I'm listening. When you like when you post that, like, what's the first thing you put up? You say like we're starting a challenge on this day. Like, comment below if you want to partake in it. Is that how you do it? Yeah, pretty much. Actually, no. What I do is, I, I, when I send out the my challenge tracker invite, like I'm pretty much saying like. If you're not gonna accept that, like that's your decision at this point. This is like where I'm kind of like drawing a line in the sand with coaching in some ways, I feel like. Is like, if you're not gonna accept that and get into the group at all, even after we've like had conversations, I've followed up with you a few times, that's your journey. Um, I'm not gonna come chasing you. And if you've accepted to be into that group, you're gonna be put in a team. That is your way of saying, I'm gonna be put in a team. And I just take all those people and put them in a team. And then it kind of like, you see like people get that email of like, here's where your team's at and you know what team number you're in. And if your name's not even on the board and you'll see people like trickle in the following week that weren't even on the board that first week, like, dang, I saw my team didn't show up. Like, I mean, I saw I didn't show up for my team kind of thing. Um, you know, it's like, I don't know, it just, I feel like it builds a little bit more community. And then we're, we're adding things like you have like a one day a week where you, can earn extra points if you like comment on other people's posts and stuff like that. Um, and then I just, I am now want to add in this idea of, I just wrote it down. I already forgot what it is because my brain's on fire. Um, that we do the giveaway. I like that idea, Annalisa too, for like, if you share on your stories about like your experience in the group, I feel like I'm going to add that to the team cup now for another day. I really like the uh, the team cup idea, right? Like that's a really cool idea that we obviously with the team cup coming up in February, like that's a great opportunity for anyone who's not already, obviously she's already doing it, but that's a good opportunity to like talk about one, what you're doing in coaching. So like you're kind of bridging the gap there and two being like, Hey, we're going to have our own team cup. So um, you can do that probably in both Facebook and um, you know, my challenge checker. Um, I feel like what's working for us though in our group is, and I, I don't know if anybody else has done this, but we have daily reminders to do anything. Like everybody always checks in on our fitness posts and we have a new fitness post every single day. It's not just one at the beginning of the month that people just update on. It's every single day. And it's very tedious for me to go in and like create them, but it, once it's done, it's done. 
And then I have another one of my coaches create a nutrition check-in and we do a morning workout check-in and we do an evening nutrition check-in and we have seen massive energy shift in the last like two months of just people who are loving it. Um, we've been doing this for th since I began to thrive through the holidays starting in October. So we've been doing it since October and we focused on nutrition through the um, entire holiday season and people loved it and people are like raving about it. And so I've just done away with any group that was a one-off. Like I got, I just told my to be group, I was like, you're either in here or you're not, especially with the mindset membership and the monthly fix or whatever they're doing now. Like that's, that's the support that they need right now. Like I'm not going to do something extra. And then um, we're just doing a one general group. Like everybody's kind of doing our own thing. I will probably create some FOMO around bar blend because we have about 12 of us doing it together. So like I'll do a weekly saying like bar babes, like how are you doing? And then like other people might see that and say, Hey, I kind of want to get on on that. So it's like, you can still create that FOMO within these bigger groups, even if they're not doing the same program. So I think that's, that's kind of what's working for us. Um, as some ideas. I know with our I came in person. Um, okay. one thing that I do find is really helpful is in general, just to kind of do that community piece is having, we lay out on Monday, like a set schedule of all the different virtual gyms that one of the coach will be on so that we have like set, like every day Maggie's on at five 30 in the morning, like I'm on Monday, you know, at 2.30. I'm on Wednesday at this time. Like we have like probably good couple each day that give people like an option between like morning or afternoon. Um, and then we always have one typically on Sunday, Saturdays and Sundays as well. And sometimes people get in and some people don't, but I know there's, you know, a handful of people that get in every day at the 5.30 time. But it's really nice because we focus so much in general of, us having at home workouts and a lot of people commonly say like I miss the community of being like in a class and I think that this is a nice format for us to be like and we do tag each other you know in our posts of saying this is a class like we have our own class but we can just do it you know when it's a snowy day together and we log on together and it's that other accountability so that's a really easy thing to do if you aren't already doing it and like have a bunch of people throughout your team do it or a bunch of coaches. Cause I'm sure we all have a bunch of different times that we like to work out. So why not just log in, you know, and give it people an option to be able to do that or have an evening one or yes. I mean, no, I'm using the zoom link that um, Dana has for it. Just log on that. And sometimes uh, someone else is hopping on, like there could be a Dana hopping on or whoever, you know, and that's why I've been sharing the same link in all the groups a lot. And that's what we did like Thanksgiving morning, you know, like, but if you amp up and sometimes what we'll do is do like a prize, um, you know, one day I did. And of course some people participate and some people just don't like, that's just the way it's going to go. But one time I did one like way back and it was St. Patrick's day. So I was like, everyone get in your St. Patrick's day garb and we're working out together in our St. Patty's day gear, like make it fun or put on your eighties gear or like those types of things. Didn't you do? Yeah. Nineties one, whatever. Like, so once again, sometimes it could be three people, but it's fun to tag and at least give people that option. And it's a super easy thing between everyone that probably helps run your groups to be able to just say, hey, when, 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 can you, when are you typically doing it? And it doesn't require much extra work for you. This is a serious question that I posted. Like, how many devices do you guys have out to go? I don't get on Zoom because I'm like, my, I, my, TV or my iPad is my bot device and then my phone is recording. <laughs> I just have it on my laptop Zoom and then I just log on to my BOD on my laptop. So I just have one screen on one side of my screen and one screen on the other. Okay. Yeah. Or just like shrink the one of me down. But like there's a couple of people that, you know, always get in at the same exact time and they're just waiting and we just like hop in together and it just is that extra motivation for people because ultimately accountability is half the way they're going to get you know the results so if people even just it's you and your coaches you know like like awesome like logging on together and it's fun because people don't especially like newer people they don't know us they don't know anyone so to have that connection of people hopping on then it's like hey good morning like how are you and it just becomes more of a 
I don't know, community. Um, we used to do the prize thing as well that we would say like every week there was a check-in for sweaty selfie and there was a check-in for like a photo challenge that we did. So we would switch and each coach would take like every Monday night go live and pick like a winner out of a hat for a sweaty selfie and a winner out of a hat for a photo challenge. And basically the more times you posted throughout the week, the more times your name went into a hat. So then like your chances of winning and a lot of things were great stuff. You know, it might've, it might've been beach body stuff, but it might've been like, you know, tank tops or mugs or like fun things. But a lot of people posted then, and I know they want free stuff. Um, and we switched off of doing, honestly, the calculating and tallying of points is really like an absolute mind suck for me. And I know all of us who I think we're feeling that. And instead, we just basically switched it to pop up challenges. So like Maggie did one the other day was saying if people comment on like, what these groups have done for them, knowing they're going to be used in our posts, but we can leave out their name. As long as 15 people do it, then one of those people are going to get a container of Energize. Like we'll do some random pop-up ones. And I think that that works. That works better for us, I think, because it's not as much we're kind of putting in, but I don't know if, um, you know, I don't know what the challenges would have to say. I feel like we all as leaders have our own groups running right now. So it's hard to figure out really how to do get elevated without it just being like a, a chore for like everyone to feel like they have to go in there. Like are people putting challengers in to get elevated? Negative, 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 negative. <laughs> So this call is awesome. <laughs> so we don't, uh, I don't know. Yeah. I, I mean, there are people in, there are lots of people in get elevated. Um, I guess that is where I still put all my challengers, which is why I still put the challenge group posts in there. Yeah. Um, but I think when we started it, we had the intention of running it all together and that just kind of fizzled out. Yeah. So if, it might be better to just phase it out where we are all running our own separate groups and just turn get elevated into that overall community because then then it becomes a place where challengers are getting all of that extra value all the time but it also is a place that we can invite anyone to to get them kind of in the know of what we're all about and so here's what I was kind of thinking with that so it can be a free community like people aren't like if you just want to connect with someone and put them in somewhere they can go to get elevated and as a um it's sort of like a a I'm not gonna say a dumping ground like whatever you're doing in your group if it's working and you love it just like throw it and get elevated too, like a nutrition tip or something you're posting in there that you feel like, oh, this is free value. Let me also put it and get elevated. Or like, maybe I'll just put in the morning, the miracle morning plan, do a video on it. But like, for me, I might host my own monthly thing where people are really focused on it. And it's like just for miracle morning thing. So if everyone's doing their own thing and they're loving it, I think these calls are really valuable for like, what's working for you. Maybe I can implement that in my group. Like, what are you doing? So everyone's challenge groups are thriving. And I think there's power in doing it yourselves. Like, um, Alicia and Jenny's group kicking off. Amanda, you said your groups, like when you took over and started doing it yourself, instead of putting it and get elevated, like your business started to soar because there's more skin in the game, right? You, you have this group and you're like, well, I said, I'm kicking off a group on the 1st of February. So I better get some people in there. Right. So it gives you a little more accountability to run your business, to have something to invite to. Um, otherwise it's just like, eh, I have someone, if, if someone comes to me, I'll have someone where to put them. Um, so I guess just, um, it seems like everyone can create their own. If you're not comfortable doing it, talk to your upline and talk about where to put them, or you can use get elevated if you're just not there yet. Um, and then as a team, we just have to perhaps just have a Google document that says like uh, days of like months, like this is your week and get elevated, like show up and do something in there for the people that were 
hosting or I don't know, this is your day or this is your challenge, however we want to run that. But yeah, it just acts more like a, a free, a free, yeah, free group for wellness community of our team of people who aren't quite ready to buy in. And maybe it also serves as a coach sneak peek place and a, um, like a product highlight place or launch info or whatever. So people are getting that information. I don't know. Brainstorming here. I know we had talked about in our thread about having instead of always all of us, cause I don't know about anybody else, but like running free groups every month on your own and the commitment to the live videos and all that kind of stuff. Like it gets to be a little bit time consuming if we were to run those and take turns running them in get elevated because then it could be free groups that we all invite to as a team in there and, you know, help co-run to kind of split up time commitment. Um, but still that ability to filter new people in, create, you know, build relationships, add value, create connection. Um, and then they're in there and it's ongoing and they continue to see the value in the community and everything. So I think that if we can phase into getting that rock and rolling and having that become a simple system it would be incredible for everybody and a great an awesome opportunity for new coaches to come in and have something to invite to right off the bat um aside from just a challenge group because we know that sometimes that's a little intimidating for new coaches so do we have rules for joining right now rules for joining get elevated yeah or like just like even like rules of like what you can post like something for people to agree to I, I think that's the only thing that's the only thing I feel like I personally would want in there to be able to invite to something like that. Yeah. Well, this is just like something we just started talking about. In the yeah, last no, no, no. I, otherwise like I'm super excited. I'm saying what's that? Like, like what? Based off, you don't want people coming in there and like selling products and that type of thing. Yeah, exactly. And you know, yeah, I think like, I, I feel like what you guys are describing is like creating like a, community like little mamas but for just wellness yeah you know what like i mean general community I feel, guidelines and like what's allowed and what's not and i think there should be some basic stuff and like i think we should like all like make a commitment that like you know if we're seeing if we see something not right like we tell you know we have someone yeah. that's like a point person to tell and like we you know yeah I'm like an admin we, person I, yeah, yeah I, I guess i didn't think of it as like that open but more of like if you're talking to people and they're thinking about joining and they're kind of like maybe want to do a free group maybe you want to like feel it out instead of just like a join this group and see what happens i don't know i don't I know just feel like if it's that many whenever you open the door to that many people in one environment i feel like you're you're opening a door I feel like it's different than, I don't know. It's just my, just my personal feeling. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't never want it to like turn negative quickly. And that can happen. Yeah. yeah. That is like the wrong, you know. Control your free groups of knowing you have 10 to 20 people in there and you can yeah. see. But I know like for me to know if there was like all of us coaches adding people into that and like taking a week of making sure everyone's like not doing the right. Like, I think I would like lose it in like with the normal things we're trying to do with our regular groups like if there's that volume of people i think it could get very i don't know just a little sticky and i don't know like maybe not as personal because there could be that volume of people and i think that's why a lot of us probably veered off of the big big large groups is because it felt like we weren't in it and it felt like people weren't heard or i i, I, I didn't never even knew like if people had checked in that day or like not like i just felt lost yeah. um and i therefore I, like kind of backed up that i would just be nervous that if we have you know each of us have 20 people that are added into a free week and now we have 200 people in there like at what point is it like oh my gosh this is like yeah a little much. so what happens if we get rid of it get elevated like i'm playing devil, devil's advocate like what happens if we don't have get elevated what do we what do we lose out on i don't i don't, <laughs> I, don't, I, think, I, don't know. I don't think you're losing anything like to be perfectly honest if people aren't active like you invite the people who are active to join whatever you are doing next and then those who are not active just kind of fall behind because either they're inactive they're not renewing their bod like i am struggling kind of with a lot of people who are inactive or did not renew bod in my group like what to do with them do i go back out to them and say hey do you want to stay or go because that's kind of the line that's being drawn right now 
Um, so well, that's where my challenge tracker, the invite, like you only create something for like two months and then you constantly like it because you put a start and an end date in my challenge tracker. So and you can remove months, people from my challenge tracker. What's that? I think you can also remove people from it. If your group is like mine, which goes all year. To me, there's something to be said to like need to reaccept. Like you want, mm -hmm. you like, you don't want to be, I don't want to be that coach haranguing someone. Like maybe they're going through something right now and that's hurting them. Like I want to just, I want to be here. Like here, here's my hand. Do you want to take it? <laughs> like, you know, like that's how I want to be as a coach. I feel like, and I feel like that's what it allows me to do with using. That's why I really like my challenge tracker and I'm excited for the updates. I'm really excited. I'm glad I made the switch over there for a lot of reasons. Well, that's, that's the other thing to consider down the road. Like, you know, what do we do? Cause you know, if your Facebook challenge group is doing really well, like, do you abandon it to go over to these new bot groups that are going to be probably like, we don't know how they're going to run in the beginning. It sounds like they're going to do a soft rollout of all of them. Um, so, but I think the, the point is to get us over there to like get us to run our groups over there. And I see the benefit of doing that, but um, this might, this whole conversation, you know, might have to shift a little bit later on. Right. <laughs> So I think it's just in the meantime, like what to do with get elevated. Cause it sounds like nobody's really there. <laughs> maybe that's the stress or maybe that's why it sucks. Cause we're all like, I don't, I don't care about what's happening in there. Cause all my people are in like, you know, various groups and it just kind of fizzled out a little bit. Um, so, so with this whole concept of splitting up free groups and adding value, then perhaps it's better. I, th I think, Rachel, you have a really good point with saying the community will get big. And I think Kelly has a great point of saying it will get too large and then there's no personal feel anymore and they're not necessarily hearing specifically from the person that added them. So perhaps the better idea is to keep challenge groups separate and not have this big community, but when we offer groups like you're talking about Annalisa for like morning routine or whatever we say have a focus for each month we have some type of group a group we can invite people to or maybe even just running it as an event like that would be an easy alternative to where it's like a one night event of like we're covering how to meal prep and how to meal plan or the most common diet myths that, that would be fun um, that's a really good idea but running it as I love the idea of us sharing like I liked I felt like once Alicia did that one, Alicia and Mary Page, excuse me, did that one set. Like I felt like, I'm sorry, I haven't done it yet. I've been a little crazy. Like it's in my, in my list of things to do. Like I want to create a full free week to add as a unit. So everyone could use that sometime. Like I feel like if we all created different units, we can just create different events and all share in the event. But yeah, not an ongoing big group. If we run it and as an event, like say we have a pop-up, um, you know, like on a Monday night, we do a, a pop-up webinar event on nutrition and you can post in the events too. So it doesn't necessarily just have to be a video, but it's something where events are great because you can invite people right straight to the event where they'll get a notification that says, Hey, Dana's hosting an event on meal prepping and planning at 8 30 PM Eastern standard time. Are you interested? And people can click on that. So it's, something that's almost a great way to invite people to something without having to actually send them a personal message slash invite. Um, so I think that would be a cool way and it saves the whole time suck of setting up a group, scheduling all the posts, <laughs> running all yeah. the posts in it, all that, which we want to work smarter, not harder. So. so why don't we keep Get Elevated obviously open as a place that has thrived has lots of info in it but we could run a free group in there if we needed as well it's just like a place that like if we need to do something as a group if we're doing something new if we're running some sort of special webinar or something it's in there because we're all in there and there's lots of people in there who may come alive again um, but it sounds like everyone is really feeling good about hosting their own um, and I guess just being sure to share in our team pages of like, did you do something that works? Share it with us. Like, cause we won't all be seeing it in like we used to, um, and get elevated. So I, I feel like we talked in one big circle, but I feel like it was really helpful to know where people are at and what's working and what direction we want to go in. And 
I think the consensus is probably that we don't have to worry too much about getting elevated right now. Um, and Dana, are you, because all your challengers are in there, are you comfortable? I, well, I transitioned to Challenge Tracker app for a month and it was just like crickets. Like comparatively um, to Mine took like three months to get people actually posting and now it's, oh, oh, maybe it's the new year. I don't know, but now it's people are in there. Well, and why I originally created that was because I wanted to create a community that had the units of resources of like personal development, meal planning, all that kind of stuff. That was the whole intention. And to save from, because what I did for so long was every single month, I made a brand new Facebook group, a brand new banner, scheduled all the posts, moved everybody over. And it was such yeah. a time suck to do that over and over. And I personally find, I know a lot of you say like people go inactive, they're not participating. And I know every coach does that differently because some coaches will tell you if people go inactive on Shakeology or performance line orders that they automatically are removed from a group. They're no longer allowed if they're not. That's a personal decision you can make in your own business. I personally don't function like that because I have had a lot of people that are loyal customers that do Beachbody on demand for five years and maybe they order Energize here or bars there or they do a three day refresh or they join in when it's a new program launch that they're excited about. And I personally don't it's not my style to turn people away. I know that there are some opportunities to increase retention and increase volume when you have people that are currently on, um, you know, active orders. But I also, um, on the back side, and I share this in the team page sometimes, is I'm really good at going through my downlines and, che and checking in on inactives every time we have a launch every time we run something like a three-day refresh group and more often times than not at least two to three maybe four or five people engage in whatever it is i invite them to when they're inactive so make sure that when people do go inactive that you don't just like write them off um or forget about them because like ray said it might be a shitty time in their life or they just weren't really ready for change and they might be down the road and you just never really know. <laughs> um, cool. I wanted to make sure, Alicia, did you want to share um, what you were saying at the beginning of the call? I didn't want to miss you if you wanted to share. What's working for you and Jenny? Oh, nothing too much different from what you guys have been saying. Um, you had crickets when you were doing like the purchased challenge group guide thing and then switching over to doing our own post have an early morning sweaty selfie um have a nutrition post going up more around breakfast time to post food in and then um like i have one post in there for like a book of the month and it's my pb but then i post a takeaway from every day just on that post so that's just kind of the things we have going in it right now I like that, the personal development and sharing something from it every day. Cause I feel like that's something like customers in comparison to coaches. Like I think why us as coaches stay on our journeys longer and are committed more easily is the personal development facet. And that's something I think so cool to work in the challenge groups like that. I love that idea. Yeah. And it's just something that's part of me is I love reading too. So it was just kind of fits my niche. And so I was just kind of playing off what fit for me. Type of thing. <laughs> yeah. I think that's the special thing about, sorry, Amanda. Um, I think it's a special thing about doing our own groups. It's like, it's your brand. It's whatever, whatever you're trying to inspire people through, that's what shines in your group. So I think it'll be huge this year if that becomes our expectation of new coaches too. Like you can do this, start your first group, whether there's two people in there, You've got this, just show up for them every day. And as you coach longer, you'll get better at sharing more value and all that stuff. Sorry, Amanda, go ahead. That's okay. Um, I was just gonna say, I ran um, just like my three week boot camp between Thanksgiving and Christmas. So then I had to kind of rethink and figure out what I was gonna do for January. Um, I knew that I was gonna do BOD and I have about 10 people doing that, but then I have another, um, dozen or so that are in my group that are not doing VOD. And so I just put a poll in my group and asked them what they wanted from the group, what's going to help them stay on track, 
Um, so the majority said recipes, so I'm just posting more recipes. I have two that go out a week. Um, we do a monthly post, um, just the one month post, and you post your sweaty selfies every day, but they're very active in that. Um, and so I just went from there. I put in a poll, I asked them what they wanted, and then I created my content based on what they said they wanted. Awesome. My last thing to consider, yay or nay, you guys can just raise your hand. Do you think, I personally think it's beneficial still to have new launch Facebook groups like the bar group because the energy, like everyone's just doing the same thing. But I also have those people in the bar group on Facebook, but also in my challenge tracker. And I told them like, just log it. You don't have to like show up in the challenge tracker for whatever reasons, but okay, whatever. So my question is, should we continue as a team to do launches in a Facebook community, like VIP access, private kind of group or focus area? I Everyone like feels like that's kind of, yeah. I think it also is a nice little change up for people that have been in it before, just to then see like new people, new faces, and it just mm -hmm. gives another like fresh thing. And it's, I think it's probably nice for all of us. For sure. I think so. Oh. Again, since we are working separately, so it's just a kind of a yeah. little thing for us too. Yeah, I know Liz is doing this one, and we were all like starting the week before, so we're like crickets this week trying to like get we're people up and running for a group this week. I know we really did. She's like about to start, and we're like day four, go. Sorry. One of my customers reached out and she was like, hey, I think I was reading this as like prep week, but we're all, and I was like, yeah, well, some of us didn't want to wait. So. Ooh, that's all right. Yeah. As of next week, everyone will be rocking and rolling with classic full body blend. Monday. Oh, <laughs> one other thing I wanted to mention, and I've not really ever done this personally, but I know it works so great for Kelsey Smith and she's like the rock star of challenge groups, but. She has a um, a video in Beachbody Champions page, um, and I don't know if you knew this, but there is a YouTube page for the Team Beachbody, Beachbody Champions page. Like, all of those live videos go on a separate YouTube channel, so you can literally go look at any, any topic you could ever possibly imagine um, on that YouTube. And she has a great one on running um, effective challenge groups. That's how I found that part-time coach video that I put in the team page today. Um, but she does themes, like she creates themes. Like, so she loves the show Friends and she'll create like a Friends themed challenge group. So like, if you're really into like specific shows or like you're talking about Alicia, like book clubs or something, like you could totally involve that into your niche when you're promoting a challenge group, if you want to create content around it and just like have, have fun being creative. I just wanted to throw that out there too. Anybody have anything else? Did everybody feel like they got some something helpful from this call <laughs> from someone? <laughs> cool. So, Dana, you kind of mentioned this, but you know what's I've had the exact the same group. Um, that's over a year now. And I've just added people to it. And like, that's just been our hub for our little fit fam. And like all my coaches have added people to it. So it's like, we all, you know, know each other. And I think that's why it works. But um, you mentioned you're like always having to come up with content and just kind of recreate, recreate all the, the images and all the stuff every month, which is tedious. And I was struggling with that too. And I was like, that, that is exactly why I was like debating on whether I would like what we would do. Cause this summer was like a big struggle with my group. Yeah. When we did start the everyday post and like starting to like, okay, getting some energy. Um, I don't, I think I bought, so we've all been buying that content from pixel and hue for the past couple of months. And I bought the November, I did the December and now I'm doing January. And granted, like, the posts are a little like, eh, I mean, I'm not getting a ton of it, like engagement on their posts, mm -hmm. but I think with the combination of everything that I've been doing, it's been good because I think people yeah. are seeing it more often and they're seeing just like, oh, hey, here's a tip. And they love the PDF of the recipes. I've been putting that in there like, hey, here's your recipes for the month. And 
it's it's like pennies to pay for that stuff that we would normally be spending hours creating ourselves, right? Yeah. I even debated on like going back to my graphic design days and go like, I could be doing this. You could totally make taunt group, guys. <laughs> I mean, we could all do it. It's just that time factor, right? We so like, figuring out what system works best for you is what's going to like ultimately have a kick-ass challenge group. And everyone's going to be different. Like the whole branding thing, you're all going to have to like, figure out what it is works best for you and your people that you're attracting because everybody is their own tribe. Yeah. So I don't know. That's, I really love that content. I don't know how you guys have felt about that content in your groups. Cause I know we're all kind of using it throughout. I don't have, I wouldn't say there's a ton of people commenting, but I've actually, cause I did a ton of customer check-ins this week and I had a lot of people say that they're loving all of the, the content that's posted in the group. They're more just kind of silent followers, which I'm like, that's totally fine. As long as, long as you're like in there and seeing what's going on. But some people are just yeah. kind of ball flowers, if you will. Steph, I saw you try to chat earlier. Did you want to chime in on something? No, I'm good. Kelly said it all. <laughs> Kelly, you sound like thunder. <laughs> I'll let Kelly chat. <laughs> all right. Um, I'm just going to throw this out there because every single week we're like, what should we talk about on team calls this week? Because I know um, I just want to like, stress the importance of Monday night calls because they are always absolutely incredible. And disclaimer, um, because something I'm trying not to do this year is dodge in 7,000 directions and not have focus on what I actually need to be focused on, on working on for myself. Like, I don't know if you guys feel that same way, but like you've got your to-do list and then you get on a call and you're like, I need to go do this and I need to create that. And I did And then like, before you know it, you've got 89 things you're trying to do and you're not really accomplishing anything. Um, <laughs> so for that, with that said, like Monday night calls, I think are just so great because there's always something you can take from it. Um, but just like, be mindful that if it's not something you need to implement immediately, you just like have a, have a running list. Right. Um, but those calls are really fantastic. I don't like, I'm curious how many of you actually get on Monday night calls or watch a replay. No. So if, um, just think, if you guys ever get a replay, please like share it. It is like painful. I wish well, that we had a place that these would be because if they're that good, they should be easily found and they aren't I at all. Um, we actually talked to Liz about oh. that, about like having somewhere they were posted. And the problem with that is that the recordings are typically, they take like three to four days to go up. And then sometimes I don't catch it. They're always posted in the difference maker movement, but it's usually three or four days or maybe five. I don't think they are. I don't see them very often at all in there. I no, started. I had to search for them like on the speaker's oh, YouTube you channel usually, whoever uh, spoke. <laughs> a lot of them aren't there, but I just, it's a bummer because eight o'clock is just like really impossible. And so it's, I want to hear it, but then it's like, we can't, we don't have a way to get it. And we get like once in a blue moon one. So I don't know. Yeah. If you're talking with Liz or anyone, or if it just gets shared, it puts it in her units of difference makers or, you know, or things get a concrete place for everyone to find it because yeah. whenever I post where is it I think a thousand people are like I'm looking for it I'm looking for it I'm looking yeah. for it too we're always like recording recording okay well I'm gonna write in our leader's thread to ask if we could make a unit for slay squad recordings because that, that would be helpful amazing. I feel like at some point in time there was a google doc at some point in time I used to put all our team calls in the google doc I should probably get back on doing that um but I wanted to throw it out there to you guys. Like Monday night calls are incredible. If you can get on them, do it. If you can watch a recording when we so hunt them down, watch them. They're great. Um, and I would love, love, because like I said, we're always trying to, to figure out what to do with Wednesday night team calls. I know last week we, we mentioned that one night a month, we're going to try and have like an open floor mastermind, like come talk about what's working for you. What are you struggling with? What do you need help with? And like, just in general, like, how the heck are you doing? How can we support you? Because life, right? <laughs> um, and the other weeks, 
feel free if you have something you specifically are rocking in your business and you want to come on and you want to share about it, feel free to take the team call that week. Please know that that's available to you to do. Um, if there are specific topics that you are struggling with or that you want to work on or that you're you're wanting to learn how to network better on Instagram or whatever, like please let us know because then we can plan ahead to get guest speakers on. Um, otherwise, I just feel like sometimes we're kind of like, what are we talking about this week? <laughs> and hoping it's helpful. Um, what about Kathy's hubs? Yes, Catherine Reuter's husband. For It's funny, I had talked to her about that and she was supposed to let me know about a hashtag call for Instagram because he has some crazy fancy system and that's how she's finding like a million new coaches that are like her perfect niche. So we'll do that. Anybody else have any topics like off the bat that you want to see on team calls or that you want to run a call on? Don't all jump to that offer. Um, I'm joking. I feel like we should wrap up because it is our 930 call time and I know everyone you have stuff gets at 445. So if we um don't have anything pressing, I'm with you guys. I feel at 340, Amanda wins and she's on the call. Oh yeah, Amanda wins. <laughs> um but I love these calls because I feel like these are where we really grow as a team because we figure out what's working, what's not working, and it's not just info blasted at us. It's just, <laughs> let's figure out what to do next to move forward in our business, yeah. right? All right, well, I will post the recording tonight or tonight yeah. <laughs> because that's what I typically try to do, otherwise I forget. Um, and I'll put a post up in the team page if there are team call topics you want to chat about, just throw them out there so we know. Awesome. Right. Shall we do a boomerang? Do a quick one. <laughs> Jazz hands. Boomerang. <laughs> Everybody won. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Bye. See you next week. All right. Good night, everybody. Bye.